So here it is, folks. It's my collection so far. And I've got to end it somewhere. These are all the knives I've received over the years. Many from BattleBots. In recent years from Poor Man's Preparing. Uh, i got a couple of knives from uh, Recommended by Prepared Mind. Of course, my Essies, my Tops knives. Various cutting tools I've received. And I'm going to just go through and do a rundown of what I've got. Of course, I've got pretty much every Leatherman that they make, including a couple of their knives. Got the Sog Baton multi-tool from a battle box. A couple of the Rogan tools, the Rhino and the Rex. This one is a favorite right here. This is a Novink knife that I got from Old Town Cutlery in a giveaway that they had. Sweet little knife. Of course, I've got the uh, Bark River Bravo One there. And the White River Ursus. I'm trying to do this one handed, folks. It's a sweet one. Got the Firecraft Five. Of course, every SE knife pretty much that they have, almost. I've got the Hungless. SE6, SE5, SE4 that I got from their Advanced uh, Survival Pack. It's funny, when the Advanced Survival Pack, you get the Survival Tin with everything in it, except the, uh, this, uh, the Kandiro. So I bought another one. So I have two of those now. Of course, this guy was made famous by Alan Kay in Alone. Uh, I got the Memoras. Um, all the Spider Co's. Uh, I don't have all of them, of course, but uh, I have my pair of two in the blur Blurple color. Pair of three. A couple of Delicas, including the uh, Stainless Steel. Um, let's go on over here. Of course, some, let's see our uh, KT Knives. It's my favorite one right here. I just love this guy. My crossbones. Love that guy. Uh, here are my Tops knives. Some of the Scandi knives. The Tops Tebow. Of course, the Brockamo. Have my Battle Box Bob. And I liked it so much, I got another one um, that I ordered. Um, because I want the G10 handles. Let's see. I've got the uh, Benchmades. I've got my bug out. That's my current EDC knife right now. This, this little guy. Oops. My bug out. Awesome little knife. My silky saws. A couple of uh, battle box um, exclusives, including the uh, this guy, the Spanish knife, I love that guy. I have my Special Forces shovels, um, one that I got exclusive, signed by Zach Fowler, from his stint um, with uh, Chris Thorne on their 30 Day Survival Challenge, and helped out a little bit with that, with some financing, and so they, with their Kickstarter financing, and so I got that shovel as a thank you from them. So this is it. The first rule in uh, recovery is realizing that you have a problem. And indeed, I have a problem with all these uh, knives that, of course, you could only carry a couple at a time and use. Of course, I'll never be able to use all these. Um, this guy I like. It's my only zero tolerance knife. It's a cool one, but uh, those can get a little pricey as do a lot of these knives. I did want to talk about one knife though. This is the Bastion Gear Tyrant that came with the 
most recent battle box. A lot of people don't like this knife. The more I play with it, the more I love it though. I put it next to these little guys, these little, we've got the CRKT by uh, Doug Ritter. Got the, the tops, uh, Turley and uh, the other tops knife. I can never remember what that is, the Latitude North, whatever. And then a couple of the, uh, you know, the Swiss Army and a Leatherman uh, squirt. Got the leather and the micro. You know, these are knives that, you know, you can tuck away in a little kit, a little tin, just a little anything. And of all the knives, this one is obviously, you know, in that space. It actually works. It's a good little knife. Would I pay 120 bucks for it? Maybe not, but would I appreciate getting it in a battle box with a bunch of other cool things? Heck yeah, that's a nice little knife. So um, props to Battle Box for thinking a little bit outside the box and giving us something like that that we might not normally have but uh, or normally buy, but I will take it anyway. So yeah, this is uh, this is what I've got, and uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these knives. I may give a few away as gifts and keep my ultimate favorite ones, but I uh, just wanted to share a little bit with folks. Um, again, shout out to Battle Box. Shout out to Poor Man's Prepping. Gosh, you know, that guy is on fire, doing a lot of good things. Um, just shout out to a lot of you folks that have encouraged me, um, have contributed to my knife addiction. And uh, there you have it. Uh, I'll show you a few more knives that I have that are in my girlfriend's uh get home bag uh i'll add that to the end of this video so there you have it y'all take it easy so as i indicated before uh these are the knives that my girlfriend has in her go bag um most of which came out of a battle box of course there's the the uh, tops bob the uh, feather stick the metamorph, the uh, crossbones. In addition to that, we've got a uh, Leatherman Wave. And then we've got a Leatherman Blast. And I know a lot of folks don't like this, but this is uh, that uh, Viva thing. I think it's useless, but it's a cool hunk of metal to have. And then the first bench made I ever got um, is the uh, Mini Griptilian Tanto with the serrated edge. So, uh, yeah, th this is all in her uh, uh, car get home bag. Um, so, yeah, probably overkill, but uh, that is what it is.